Uh, my name is Nkoslat Emanu Momoyo. I'm from the Republic of Zimbabwe. I'm a human rights defender, I'm a democracy activist, and I'm an artist. I use arts in form of poetry, uh, in form of po uh, for protest music, and I also write books with a particular focus of advocating for human rights and the respect of the rule of law in my country. I stay in a small uh, mining town called Kwekwe, which is at the central part of uh, Zimbabwe, where I also lead a community-based organization called the Zimbabwe Organization for Youth in Politics, which seeks to capacitate uh, young people who have political aspirations in my country. I cannot just look at human rights violations happening and I just fold my hands. So there's a time when I uh, realized that the government, which was by that time led by President Mugabe of Zimbabwe, was committing a lot of human rights violations against the people. So I sent the president uh, uh, a prison girl, which was inscribed uh, at the back, Crimes Against Humanity. Uh, I was just trying to convey a message to him that the, the level or the way he is violating the rights of his people is becoming a very good candidate to be tried or to be brought before the International Criminal Court. So my presence here, uh, well, I'm also trying to use that opportunity to broaden my uh, networks with uh, human rights non-government organizations here in Berlin, like different political parties. Like for now, I, I, I met with uh, um, the main political party here uh, and uh, particularly the purpose or the focus of my meetings that I would be trying to exchange notes and learn from them how the politics is done here and see if I can uh, pick up a few things that I can also take to my country and uh, also use it to, and impart the knowledge to the young people who are in politics. My residence here, I'm working on a project, I'm working on a book which is called Dismantling the System of Mugabeism. In that book, I'm trying to say, uh, yes, the people of Zimbabwe removed Mugabe the person, but the, the system uh, or the culture which he created is still intact and still exists. People must then dismantle the system to then bring a real new political uh, um, order in Zimbabwe.